Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The regular scheduled meeting is on the select board. Call to order at um, 6.36 on March 27, 2023. We have a full house here. First order is approval of minutes, March 20th of 2023. I make a motion we approve the minutes of March 20th, 2023. Seconded. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to approve the minutes as presented of March 20th, 2023. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Next is new business. I see Darius is here. So let's talk about oil tanks. So when you became superintendent of schools, did they ever t teach you about all the stuff that you need to know, like oil tanks? No. No, nope, they did not. No. Or they talk to, to me about the grinder that grinds up our sewage before it gets ejected. Oh, the Maserator. Yeah, and then, and then the ejector that ejects that out to the they didn't talk. They didn't, they didn't teach you that? In, no. and how you get that See, I think you should talk to the UMass School of Education, and, and maybe, oh, maybe what you do is take a postdoctorate class. Okay. And it, that's what is a postdoctorate. You got me. And Maserators. Maserators 101, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I'm learning a lot. Maserators 540. I don't have a ton of news. Okay. Um, what are you so going to tell us? I was talking to you on the phone um, earlier today. That so where we're at is that we have a uh, an estimate for the uh, the engineering portion and uh, the current one. Actually, I shouldn't say it since I'm trying to get other ones out there. But we have to bring it down. Um, get it under thirty thousand and. Um, we went to our normal, uh, I won't say normal, but other engineers that we work with, and I guess the other round tanks is more, um, two of them don't do it. So um, we are reaching out to uh, two other groups that are in the Springfield area to get estimates from them, and I'm waiting on those estimates. So they had promised it on Friday, and I still don't have it. So um, so basically just saying we're still at that number around 30, we'll see where the other See if we can get two more, at least one more, um, to get us to have a, a litmus test of where this is going to be a, a good price. Um, but again, we're going to be in that probably in that range between twenty-five and thirty, I imagine, um, for the engineering costs. Well, it used to be a safe number would be ten percent. Um, something like yours would be eight, an eight percent of total cost. But. Um, architects and engineering fees have been progressively getting higher so in part of what we're looking for is that there's going to be that person who makes sure that it's installed properly you know again um you know they're, they're part of the, the, sp the scope is to be on site to inspect the different to make sure it's cleaned out right put it in right um i don't know what that entails at all it sounds like you're just taking a whole ground just taking a thing in but i imagine there's other things around it. Yeah, because they're gonna make they're gonna make sure that it doesn't float. So they're probably gonna to want to tie it down, probably. So there, there's not a lot involved, but there is some involved. And they're probably gonna put in all the uh, controls and safety things and blah blah blah. And and you have had a problem for a while with ac accessing. If I don't, if I remember correctly, talking to Bill, you had a, you've had a problem accessing the uh, the tank. Also, not you personally, but the driver coming to fill it and everything. So that correct. needs to be the, uh, the actual connector. Yeah, does the, not work on full size trucks. It only works on the smaller trucks. Yeah. So we can't, we couldn't buy in large bulk um, or bid out to certain companies that would not deliver. Let's go that route. We couldn't bid certain companies that didn't have that type of truck. So yeah. if I go to the bigger companies, I'll you know, come by with an 18 wheeler and you know, give you a full tank to start your season off. Um, you know. Yeah, and I, th and I think, I think uh, some states, the maximum is like 7,000 gallons. Some states are 10,000 gallons. So going to the 6,000 gallon tank is not a bad because if, if you if they hook it up correctly, mm -hmm. you'll be able to get a full truck no matter if it's a seven or, or a ten thousand gallon. So, yeah. yeah. So, I guess when we find that engineer, Bill will have to make sure he talks to him about that. Yeah. 
So once I get that, I'll, I'll send on to Jeff so you guys can see it ahead of time. Um, mm -hmm. So, Gary, have you have you have you looked at a long term carbon decarbonization plan no. for the schools? Well, if you ever do, and you need somebody to sit on the committee, I'd be more than happy. Because, um, or if you want, June twentieth to June twenty third, we are having a conference at UMass, the Big Ten and friends, and we're talking about so. All the Big Ten's um, facility people, and we invited everybody from New England to be there talking about stuff like that. So, um. I'm glad you brought that up, Tom, because one of the things that had come up at a meeting not too, not too far ago um, was the, the, the idea of switching to electric boilers for the yep, school as a way of starting that measure because we continue to use a lot of the system we have currently, but we make the, the entry point electric rather than oil um, and I feel like we really should talk about that more now before we get too far into the oil tank <laughs> and have an oil tank going into the ground um, because if we do if that is a step we want to take in, in the future in the next 10 years the oil tank would get, becomes obsolete real fast and um, and, and I I can tell you that the advantages of electric, uh, electric boilers is their 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 turndown ratio is exceptional. Um, it's 99% efficient because at, at different loads because if you you just putting elements in and taking elements out, so it's pretty pretty straightforward. I I personally would say that you're not you would want your oil as a secondary backup anyway. So if you have, so if you're looking 10, 15 years about putting in, that's that's great because you're gonna want to you're gonna want to have resiliency, and you could always have the the boiler your your fuel oil boiler run if you put, and the electric boilers take a whole bunch less room. So it's pretty simple. We we actually ran a boiler last electric boiler last year at the university. It worked really well. So, um, but. It would take us about 150 megawatts to run it, <coughs> so we can't do that. But for for you guys, it wouldn't be too bad. You had you had, maybe had to make some infra infrastructure upgrades. So probably had to bring more more juice in. But you do feel that putting the oil tank in is going to be yeah, you got to that you have to put it. You have you have to have you have the biggest thing is you have to have resiliency. So if if so if you have uh, if you go back to that October, that October storm that we had 10, 15 years ago, you know you have something like that. You have that. That is our primary spot. That is our primary spot. It's you know for MEMA and FEMA as a uh, sheltering facility. So you have to be prepared to do that. Okay. So I, I think you would want to do that. You know, I, you because you're not going to you're not going to put in electric. With the infrastructure, you probably probably have to upsize a transformer, probably have to put a duct bank. Transformers right now are taking, what, 18, 24 months? So, okay. so something that size, you wouldn't be able to do it quicker. So we would, okay, so that, that would, my big question is, is can, we, can we still keep the timeline the same, but go to a more green option? But if this sounds like you're, you're saying that even if we do next year go to, to, to electric boilers, or five years from now, or whatever time frame that would be, having this as a backup is, is worth the investment today. We're, we're putting an electric boiler in Mem Hall right now, mm -hmm. and it's 50, it's either 50 or 54 weeks with delivery time. Okay. So, so it sounds like that's probably probably actually move ahead with the with the. You just replace the boilers. So the boilers are new. Yeah. Right, so we're, we're talking about in terms of moving towards a, a, a more green solution because if we can go electric boilers, then when we put solar in, we're green. Right, we, but the boilers were what last year, year before? Right. Yeah. The boilers are brand new. So yeah. we've got to kind of almost do the oil. Yeah. It just it sucks to, to, to do yeah, that. Yeah, but you, know? you, have to ha you have to have a 10, 15, 20 year plan, and the best thing to do. 
now is start figuring out what you want your next option to be. Okay. So, well, that's something we can also talk to the. Do you want me to have a green energy committee or a energy committee, yep. energy committee that we can bring up with the energy committee is starting to come up with that five ten year plan for how we're going to tra transition to a more carbon neutral. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Anything else? Oh, yeah. School committee. Anything you want to add? We got a meeting tomorrow night, six o'clock. Just one item on the agenda is the budget for the FY twenty four for the school. You want to fill him in? I just let you know so that that's. I, know, I was going to have him fill you in. On the budget? Yeah. I don't have an update. Huh? I don't have an update. We keep. I communicate with Jeff. So we know less this week than we did last week and less than the week before that. So I say, how does that happen, Tom? You don't want life to keep it keeping interesting, that's what I gather. I you Jeff and I was talking about letters that he could write with his command of the English language. That would, my my language would not probably be in the same form. Is Jeff's? He he's much better at that. Because there's mine would probably have anger, and he's a professional, so he knows how not to put anger into a letter. Yeah, once they redacted all the yeah the bad words yeah. out of it, it yeah. would just yeah. be a whole bunch of hands yeah. and thus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he he has to have a bad word filter on his computer. Yeah, but yeah, so we don't, unfortunately we don't. The last thing we knew was ninety thousand. Short? Uh, 168. 168 short. I say I communicate with Jeff and it's not a surprise. I, you know, we, we, we had a conversation with the director of the FERCOG and the person that's in charge of the accounting program downstairs last week. Mm -hmm. We got another meeting Thursday? Yep. 3 o'clock? Yes, sir. So we'll, we'll learn some more. Yeah, it'd be nice if they actually produced at some point. Uh, yep, I, yep, I would agree with that. Yeah. So we just hold our tongue and we try to move forward. Because yeah. nothing we can do can't make that mule pull any harder. So, all right. So that so right now one sixty eight. Mm -hmm. That's how much we're short. Yep, that's the gap. Uh, not using any free cash at the moment for the operating budget. So unfortunately, we have to apologize because we haven't been able to give you really numbers, real true numbers, to have a conversation about. It's very frustrating. Um, yeah, but it. it uh, I think our committee felt, uh, you know, even back like January, February, that. Uh, I mean, it started, if I remember correctly, with the fact that we had a new governor, and so we weren't going to get cherry sheets until the beginning of March. And so there wasn't a sense of quick, we got to make, you know, we got to vote on this budget, quick, we got to make decisions because, you know, we want to, things are moving fast and we got to make sure we're, we're keeping up to speed. And it's sort of like the initial indications were things were going to move slowly, and then it's like just it's, it's this whole thing with the accountants has we certainly kept bogging things down, but. You know, we're in a situation where we really would like to have a vote on our on our budget and, and uh, you know at least move our part forward. Well, what I would say is, I I and I know contractually at some point you have to have a finished budget, right? So that we have to vote on a budget. We have to vote on a budget. That cannot exceed what we had at the public hearing. Right. So, so I would, my recommendation is that I would vote on your budget with the understanding that, no, that we, that the board finance committee may come back to talk to you at some later date and we may have to alter, but we, we've done that before. So I would, I would just use due diligence and know that we're, we may be sh asking for some type of 
conversation to occur between us and you guys, and but that's all we can do right now. No, I think that's you know I think the essence of of all of this is that we keep up communicating, you know, with each other, and and uh, you know it may be parts of the process that are unusual this year, but that doesn't mean we can't figure out a way to get where we need to go. Yeah, you you whatever way, and so you know I I hear what you're saying, and it makes totally good sense. You just, you, you you can't. I, I mean. The, the frustrating thing for us is that we've been talking since end of October, November. We we were told we were told in November I that it was right around the corner. I remember. Yeah. So. Yeah. But did right now yelling and screaming doesn't do any good. You, you know that may occur later, but right now it, it doesn't help us. So we just got to figure out the problem. Yeah. So. So I, I would recommend that you you know you you guys do your process and we'll have our meeting tomorrow. And yeah, and and you under, you as long as you guys understand our position, it's like this is this is the most two two. It started two years ago, three years ago, two years ago, three years ago, and and it and it hasn't gotten any better. So, and now it's just totally unacceptable. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? All right, so we're going to move on from the oil tank discussion. I again, I think that it's something that that we need to do. You're going to have the oil tank will be there for another after you put in for another 20 years. So we'll have resiliency no matter if we change the boilers will probably not last another 20 years. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But we'll have another plan in place to move forward, and we'll still have the resiliency of those tanks in the ground. So. That's okay. All right. Moving on. Thank you, guys. Anything else? All right. Out here in any longer. Darius, thank you for coming this evening. Fire department birthday celebration bonfire permit. Yes. So the Sunderland Fire Department is 90 years old this year. They would like to celebrate that with a bonfire behind the public safety complex um, on Saturday, April 28th. Um, there is a law that says that the select board can grant I, Wait, no, no. You, you gotta be kidding me, right? The select board, there's a law that says a select board issues bonfire permits? City council of a city with approval of its mayor or the board of selectmen May authorize the fire department to issue not more than one permit in any year for a ceremonial bonfire. Perfect. Okay. A significant did, municipal, did state, or national event. Sure, I did. See? So you have to decide. I if knew this it because I read it like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I think I'd rather be doing an oil tank installation instead of giving a bonfire permit. But to a fire department? <laughs> for the fire department, yeah. Did, did, did the fire chief sign there? A little oxymoron. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey. Um, all right, so what do you want us to do? Um, I would like you to issue the permit. It's not. It's not going to be on a Sunday, is it? Because we don't have. We don't. We can't issue burning permits for Sunday. It's on Saturday. It's a Saturday. Oh, phew. Yeah. that's good. Saturday the twenty-eighth. They gave me the wrong date. Thank you, Cindy. The twenty-ninth is is the Saturday. And that's the day after town meeting, right? Yes. Okay. Maybe burn a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be exotic for everyone. It'll be fun. Uh, <clears throat> so you like the 29th? I like the 29th. You want a motion? That, that I'm sure the law says probably what our motion should say, right? <laughs> That's the next thing we're going to be doing. <laughs> no, you can, you can motion however you'd like. Okay. I motion. motion we issue the fire department a permit for a ceremonial bonfire on Saturday, April 29th. So do we actually... Not to burn for we're, more than 12 hours. Are we, are we the ones issuing the permit or we allow them to issue the permit? You, can, you authorize the fire department to issue a permit. Okay, so, we'll so, to themselves. so we'll, we'll, we will make, we need a motion made to authorize the fire department to authorize a bonfire permit. All right. 
I motion we authorize the fire department to authorize a permit for a ceremonial bonfire on <coughs> April 29th. Seconded. We have a motion made and seconded so to authorize, I love saying it because it's so silly. The, 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 the board authorizes the fire department to, off, to authorize themselves a burning permit for a celebratory bonfire. Okay, any other discussion? Yep, hearing any, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 <laughs> Three zero, Jeffrey. I like that yep. one. Capital override ballot Capital question? Capital override ballot question. This is easy because it is prescribed by law. Um, the form of the ballot question is, the, and the only things that we change are the amount and the name of the town. So the ballot question is. Did you want to postpone this until next week to make sure that we have? Um, or just because it's going I on the election, we, we can do it now? Yeah, I think okay. we have to do it now for the election. Okay. Um, right. So the, the ballot question is, shall the town of Sunderland be allowed to assess an additional $275,000 in real estate and personal property taxes for the purpose of funding the town's municipal capital stabilization fund for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2023. Okay. And we've talked about this. This is because we have uh, capital, capital planning been looking at what the, the town's capital needs are for the next 10, 5 to 10, 15 years out. And this is... Um, partnered with the other 100000 would give us a, uh, a steady fund for capital to pay for. Discussion? Yeah. Crystal, thoughts from the uh, audience? I don't see anybody up on the screen. Okay. I, I mean, I see Lauren, but I don't see any raised, raised hand. All right. All those in favor for the capital override Stabilization on the ballot. Please signify by saying aye. Aye. Wait, did you, you make a motion? Right? Yes. Shh. You did. Oh, sorry. Didn't hear. Did we move that one yet? I thought we didn't move that yet. I motion what Jeff said. Right. I said that was a lot motion. of words to. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Thank you. I motion that. We assess an additional 275 in real estate and personal property taxes for the purpose of funding town's municipal capital stabilization fund. Can I have a first statement? Uh, you move to put that on the ballot. I move right. to put on the ballot. That question, yeah. That, what I said. All right, I second that motion. Eric, yeah, motion made and seconded. All those, any other discussion? Without hearing any discussion, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 So we'll, we'll have more conversation about that with Finance Committee coming up, right? Yeah. And uh, Capital Stabilization going to come to us and also talk to us also? Because you want to start the process, right, of informing the, the residents, so. About the override? Mm -hmm. Yep, we've been talking about how the, how to present the capital needs and, and do that. So. Have them come to a meeting, okay? Okay. All righty. Uh, first look, town meeting warrant. Yes. Um, so we have the basics of a warrant. Um, so similar, Article 1 is reports. Article 2 is compensation for elected officials. Article 3 is the operating budget. Article. Right now, Article 4 is the capital budget. Um, we're talking about how we want to put the capital budget on the warrant, given that we're going for a capital override. So there may be a second warrant article about that. Article 5 is creating an opioid stabilization fund uh, so that we can put the monies from the opioid settlements in that fund. Um, and then use it for uh, opioid remediation. Um, Article 6 is to fund the Opioid Settlement Stabilization Fund. Uh, Article 7 is to create a Capital Stabilization Fund for Frontier. Okay. 
Article 8 is CPA for the Frontier Tennis Courts and Pickleball Courts. Article 9 is CPA for Pickleball Courts here. And Article 10 is a CPA article um, to repoint, not, not repoint, to um, redo the steeple to fix up the, sorry, the steeple at uh, the Sunderland Congregational Church. Article 11 is the CPA um, administrative article. And Article 12 is revolving funds. Um, Article 13 is a request to the general fund. The police chief had asked um, for one of the firefighters to stay on and statutorily they're required to resign at age 70, I think. So you need town meeting to allow the select board to petition our elected officials for special legislation to allow somebody yeah. to work for a little bit longer. So that's that article. Okay, so 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 should we start adding things that we want to add to the warm to warrant, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's let's start going through the warrant so that we can add things so Jeff can start putting in. All right. So we don't have to make a recommendation, but we have to make we have to make. Um, motions to include on the warrant yep. and maybe the next then in a couple weeks we can do the recommendations okay so i'll entertain a motion to place article one on the warrant a motion to place article one on the warrant seconded all right so a motion made and seconded to put article one on the warrant all those in favor signify by saying aye 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 so and again as a historical is that basically at town meeting so the select board are nothing but window dressing yep. by definition okay so they can do that <laughs> the only control that you have it the only real control that you have is by if you say it really not but you can because you can get so many residents to sign a petition to get on or a warrant I mean a petition to get on the warrant that being said we could not put something on the warrant we've never done it in 25 years it's always a first time for everything but um, that's that's why we go through the the voting to put it onto the warrant gotcha. okay article 2 I motion we place article 2 on the warrant second Motion made and seconded to include Article 2 in the warrant. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 3-0, Jeff. Article 3. I'm, oh, I'm motioning we place uh, Article th 3 on the warrant. Seconded. Okay, Article 3 is the... General budget, I think. The, bu the budget. So... We really don't have that we really don't have that so i don't think we should put that on yet until we have a budget until we have one yeah have okay okay so let's let's pass that yeah let's go over that one for right now article four is the capital budget we probably should hold off on that because we don't really have the funding sources for that yet article five is the opiate settlement stabilization fund we could do that. Okay. And motion we place Article 5 on the warrant. Seconded. Okay. This is just a majority vote. All those in favor of Article 5 being included, signify by saying aye. 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 Jeff, 3-0 for Article 5. Article 6 is a seat to bump transfer from free cash to the, or other available funds to the Opioid Settlement Stabilization Fund. So this is, goes right hand in hand with Article 5. Okay, I want to replace Article 6 on the warrant. Seconded. Motion made and seconded, signified by saying aye. 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 3-0. Article 7 is the establishment of a capital stabilization fund for Frontier Regional. And are we able to do this? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This is establishing the fund. Just establishing. Okay, yep. I motion we place Article 7 on the warrant. 
Seconded. Okay, motion made and seconded for Article 7. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Article 8 is uh, to see the town will vote to appropriate $23,500 from CPA undesignated fund balance to uh, Frontier Regional Schools to complete the renovation of the tennis courts. I motion to replace Article 8 on the warrant. Seconded. Motion made and seconded on Article 8 for inclusion on the annual warrant. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 3 0. Article 9 to see the town will vote to. Appropriate the sum of 115000 from the CPA budgeted reserve as requested by the Town of Sunderland for the creation of two new pickleball courts on Riverside Park. A motion to replace Article 9 on the warrant. Seconded. Okay, motion made and seconded Article 9. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 3 0. Article 10 to see the town. Vote to appropriate the sum of sixty thousand dollars for the CPA from the CPA Historic Preservation Reserve to fund the Congre Sunderland Congregational Steep Restoration Project. So the monies will be used to restore the spire, bell tower, roof, and electrical work. This is the one I probably have to. Yep. So I, I move we yeah. put Article Ten on the A motion made. I will second it's for Article Two inclusion. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Two zero. Article 11 um, is a CPA to see if the town will vote to appropriate or reserve from community preservation fund. Oh, this is a Jennifer. We can call this a Jennifer article. She's great. Jennifer does all of the uh, great stuff on the, on the funding. So this is the where the money should go. This is Article 11. I motion to replace Article 11 on the warrant. Seconded. I have a motion made and seconded to include Article 11. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Article 12 is to see if the town will is basically sets up the uh, revolving funds and the salaries that are paid, the limits, et cetera. So wiring, spec wiring inspector up to $9,000, plumbing inspector up to $3,000, Board of Health $16,500, Sunderland Public Library Community Room $5,000, Fire Inspector $7,000, Highway Shared Equipment $23,000. Motion? A motion to replace Article 12 on the warrant. Seconded. Motion made and seconded for inclusion of Article 12. All those in Aye. favor? Aye. 3 0. Article 13 is uh, when someone that's on the fire board, fire department, reaches a certain age, which is 65, we can ask the um, state for a special law. That allows a person to serve to 70 years of age. We have that. Uh, this is for Scott Smith, which we made under Chapter 32 of the general laws subsequent to his reaching the age of 65. I'll entertain a motion. Hi, motion. We include Article 13 on the warrant. Seconded. Motion made and second to include Article 13. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 3 0. Um, and then Articles 14 through 19 are the consent articles. They are basically the how we do business. Allows a select board to accept and expend grants, um, Chapter 90 work, um, Chapter 40, Section 4A to authorize the select board to enter, enter, enter into intermutual agreements, municipal agreements. Um, to see if the town will vote to authorize the town treasurer with approval of the select board to borrow money from time to time to in, in anticipation of the revenue. So that's basically, so if the state doesn't give us money, we have a way to get it if we need it, if we take out a loan. All right, so a motion made, or a motion to uh, include the uh, consent articles? I motion we include articles 14 through 19, the consent articles, 
On the warrant. Seconded. Okay. Motion made to include the consent articles. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. <coughs> all right. Aye. So now 3-0, we have all that. So we have what Everything added to the budget. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, and then in a couple of weeks, we'll put on the uh, recommendations. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. What's up next? Budget. Okay. What are you going to tell us? Um, that we're 168,000. Uh, gap that we need to close. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I really, unfortunately, don't have a substantive update other than um, it looks like we will either need to make some reductions in the uh, budget requests from the departments or um, use at least some free cash. Good question for you on that. We're, we're 100 and something thousand dollars short. Does that include which set of budget recommendations does that include from each department? Did you go with the higher one? Yes. Okay, so. Uh, that includes the, yeah, uh, expanded services budget. Okay. Um, and, it. and it has estimates for the health insurance um, because, I mean, estimates for however, how many new people we have coming on. We know what it would cost. For, for the existing subscribers. Um, uh, wage adjustments and 2.5% and COLA for employees. And I think that's what the ma oh, we haven't gotten our property and casualty insurance yet, but they gave us um, a good estimate of, of where that should be. So I think those are, um, yeah. So when, when, when talking to the, uh insurance group, right? The committee? Yeah. Was it more important to go to a higher percentage of comp, uh, the higher percentage contribution or to maintain the present policy? Am I remembering it that they their number one thing was all other things aside, we don't want to lose the services we're getting. I know, but if, if push comes to shove, sometimes you can't, sometimes your needs and wants don't line, line up, unfortunately. I still think that my impression was that if they couldn't, that they'd rather stay with their plan and the, the contribution they have than get a higher contribution on a worse plan. That was my impression. That was mine also, but we have to do the, at least the one plan we have to lower. Yeah, the, the lowest plan we have yeah. to up in order to be compliant with the... Right. So we maybe talk to Ben and ask him what, what he thinks. I mean, because we have, to have, we have to start putting, we have to put options on the table, right? Um, so I thought, I thought you had talked about... 65, 65, and 70. Are we talking about other, like, changing benefit? Because we well, need to if, sign if the we're, ratio. If we're $170,000 short. Right. Okay, so is Jeff taking a salary cut for $170,000? Well, Jeff needs to sign the do the rate shell this week. So we need to figure out what the benefits are going to be. Well, how uh, can you when, you when you don't know? Well, is is this budget that you're the the, the budget numbers you're looking at? Does that include going up to sixty five percent? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's the same the same plan the the same plan yeah. with a sixty five percent, but but it but how much is that? That's forty thousand dollars additional to the budget, right? Um, it is. All right. So if you're one hundred and seventy thousand dollars short, where do you, how, how do you? How do you find $170,000 if you don't start making those hard decisions? Yep. Right? You can, you can want all you want, but, but I'm, I'm just saying that that's why I think it's important. You, if we can all right, go to 65%, we can still reduce the, we can make the plan to put it in, so it follows the Hampshire Collaborative, which will probably charge us less money, right? Mm -hmm. And you get the 65%. 
I don't want to do that, but if I'm looking at $170,000 with, with all the budget staying as they are right now, you've got to find a way to look at creating, lowering that gap. What, what's the situation with free cash and balancing our budget? Are we allowed to use a certain percentage of it to do so? Is that written out? Yeah, up to 30%. Up to 30%. So if free cash is... Five hundred thousand or more, we would have the the room in free cash to make up the difference. Yeah, and not necessarily saying that, that that's the absolute way we have to go, but just that there there is that. So it's not like we're in a position where we don't have options. It's just a question of whether we want to dip into our free cash as much. To well, we don't even know what free cash is. Well, yeah, yeah, and so that's <laughs> right. Easier if we can have a conversation having a number in front of us with free cash. So Jeff, how about you just get on that? Okay, you know, just just make it happen. And all that. But right, and and the thing you're absolutely right. But to think the the, I mean you you have to have all the options have to be on the table. If 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 we don't, we thought we had X amount of dollars last year, and all of a sudden the state when all of a sudden they came back and says, oh by the way, there's a hundred thousand dollars that you didn't account for last year, or the year before yeah, that, and and all of a sudden your free cash is reduced by a hundred thousand dollars. I, I don't know what that number is. If if yeah. so, I, I'd I'd feel in, in my conversations with Jeff, I I haven't worried about I haven't worried about the sixty five percent insurance or, but but if the and they're saying if the elementary budget stays like it is, our insurance stays the way it is, our Colas stay the way it is, and where the other other increases are, at and if we don't get free cash certified or cert or something something happens with the state with certification, we we have at some point we have to have start having that discussion. I, it's unfortunate, but you you just can't not do that. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be difficult. Yep. Right, and, and that's that's what these that's what I think Peter knows, I, and Greg knows, and and Jessica, and I mean they they understand because this is the most the frustrating thing in my life right now, on the board is going to town meeting, which is a few weeks away, and not knowing what you have for free cash and the and the schedule the schedule A and the recap. Not that that's terrible. Okay, and 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 because we're not we're not. We're not giving the residents of our, the, and, and this is the point that some may not understand that provide these accounting services, is that we're not, we're not able to have a, 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 an honest conversation because we, we, we can't. We don't have numbers to share with our, so, and just right, we may have to post, we may have to postpone town meeting. Yep. Not, and, and. And we may, and everything may be fine. You're you're absolutely right. So because our our thing for, is thirty percent of free cash, it and and with with a, whatever number they had, we we'd be fine. We we'd follow. I mean, it's a little bit the free cash is a little bit more theoretically than we normally looking at. So we can't guarantee it. So usually, I would say free cash is somewhere between three and five hundred thousand dollars on average. So when you said five hundred thousand, that's you know what one hundred fifty thousand dollars use. So we still have to come up with eighteen thousand dollars or so, but we can we can manage that. I'm just saying that, that that's a that's a close enough budget that we're not talking about huge cuts to anything. We can we can find that without too much trouble. Yeah. Um, if if it comes back at those numbers. Yeah. Well, and and we we were talking with Peter about this um, between our last this, between this meeting and the earlier one. Um, a large part of our free cash situation has to do with the way that new growth has been calculated over the past bunch of years, and that's in our favor for this year. So we should have a, a on the higher end of the free cash spectrum, um, probably not on the hundred thousand dollar end, more on the half a million or up end. Um, so when when whenever the state. In its infinite wisdom, makes correction like that hundred thousand dollar. I said this to Peter many years ago. It's like whenever you do something stupid, whenever you do something like that, you win. It's like a doubling effect. So you, it, not maybe not this year, but you know next year you're gonna, it's going to come back, 
and you're going to see somehow two in this case two hundred thousand is going to come from I don't know where, but all of a sudden it's like a doubling effect yeah. because of the way it accounts. So you could take whatever we get back and subtract two hundred thousand from it because you're not going to get it next year because it's a one it's a one year bump. And yep. one year we did, had a lot more be back my first year because we and it was eighteen months, but the previous time they did the budget they didn't account for uh, local receipts. That was like a big number. So all of a sudden they did the revenue side, no one included the local receipts. So but we knew we knew mm -hmm. we knew it was common. So yeah, so so we have to we have to start looking at that, Jeffrey. We have to look at the option. I mean, so where where, where was the things that came where money, you know, where 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 we added? Yep, we can look at where where we might be able to close that gap. Okay. So we have, we have to start looking at that. Yep. Uh, I don't. I I my that's not my preference. I but just. I I don't typically we don't have that. Now, do you get uh, something from Smith School? Do we do we know what exactly they're doing yet? Uh, one application, I believe. Is what I you got so. one. Yeah. And we're all set with Franklin Tech. Nine, eight, nine next year. Nine. Yep. Okay. All right. Any questions? Sorry. Okay. All right. Next board updates. I got nothing. Just glad it's finally starting to feel like spring out there. Went for a walk today, and I had to take my coat off because it was too hot outside. The real coat outside. It was glorious. I don't, um, know, I don't know, Nathaniel. I was up in Concord Saturday, and it was snowing, <laughs> so I couldn't. I couldn't see where we were going traveling down. The, the only uh, update I have so. is the Capital Planning Committee is planning, tentatively planning on doing a site visit on the 15th of April to go to some of the town buildings to um, take a look and talk to the, the, the managers of those buildings and hopefully also take some pictures to have um, for a slideshow or something like that for town meeting. Good. So. so I just wanted to say um, I was down at the either one of the nice days last couple of days and I was absolutely amazed at how many people were walking on the river walk that day it was um, it was really amazing not but not only on the river walk but um, along north and south main street after we redid the uh, the sidewalks over the last couple of years um, so it was really interesting and pleasing to see all the people out and about, and and I I just like to thank all those that worked on those committees, the you know the the center committee, the pathway committee, and there's been a number of them, but they really did a you know, great job. Thank you very much. And we have a uh, South County Senior Center meeting Thursday. Yep. Yes, we do. Okay. My turn. You've got it. Um, two quick things. I guess the first is clarification on the insurance. So I need to sign the rate shell by April 1st. So I'm happy to... A couple days. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, is that Friday, right? Saturday. Well, Saturday. yeah, so you'd have to sign I'd it Friday. I'd have to sign it Friday. So... Um, I can schedule a select board meeting for Thursday, <laughs> or you can give me some well, options. You, if, I... Well, here are your options. If if you if you sign the thing for sixty five percent, right, and we don't, so you're you're committed to that forty thousand dollars not coming off the rate. So you have to find where we're going to make forty thousand dollars up someplace else. Well, no, no, no. what I what I'd be signing is the plan. And then w the town could choose not to change the rates, we, my, but my. We, we have to lock in what plan we're doing because the, the, the employer contribution is our decision. It doesn't affect mm. the plan. Right. right. So right. he's saying 
yeah. to come up with another plan to say, you know, we're going to have a different plan with different deductibles, different co-pays. That's probably not going to happen between now and Friday. And I, I reiterate that the committee, the first thing that Ben said when he came in was the, the overwhelming response on, the, on the, the, the survey and the overwhelming feeling amongst members of the committee is, is that the number one priority is keeping the services in the plan they have. And if the, the, the 60 doesn't become 65, I really feel that that, that, that was their, their opinion, that it's more important that they keep the things that they have than whether or not the contribution goes up. So given that we have a, a deadline of Friday, I think in terms of what the substance of the plan it is, unless there's unless I'm missing something, I think we're all in agreement that it, it's it's the plan that they have right now. And the question becomes, can we afford the 65% or not? But that I don't think anyone who is on those plans is looking for us to change that on them. And certainly not with four days to work no, on no, it. I, you know? no, I agree with you. I, I and again, you know, start from our last starting last year conversation. I, the, I, I never. Some, sometimes our converse, our conversation, they talk about well, everybody else gets sixty five, and how do you tell? How do you explain somebody? And unless the insurance group actually sat down and looked at the plans and said, you know, we, and and Ben said the same thing. Our plan is pretty good, and and our and our employees came back and said, you know, our plan is pretty good. Compared, some other people may, some other towns may be paying more, but our plan is pretty damn good. Um, and and we've recognized that for a while because that that back when we first left the we used to have the Franklin Collaborative, and when when they when they said. That we could do the GRC, go, we could join the GRC. We looked at the GRC and said, "Geez, the GRC is pretty infle inflexible on what you can do," and we decided not to stay, not to go with the GRC. And the Hampshire Collaborative was very affordable to us. And then we talked to Maya, and Maya was able to give us a better plan. What does a better plan mean? Typically, it means it's less. Money coming out of your one's pocket. It, look, if you're if you don't need medical, it you just look at the straight contribution. But most people at some point will need medical services. That's where it gets. So we've always we've always tried to err on trying to give the people the best plan for their dollars. So I I don't want to change that. But. I mean, I see there being three three options or three three paths. Path one, same plan, higher contribution. Path two, same plan, same contribution. Or path three, crappier plan, higher contribution. And I don't think anyone wants path three. I don't think the board does. I don't think the the members in town do. Um, and if that's the case, if the if if our, our options really boil down to same plan, sixty or sixty five percent. I think we can tell Jeff to go ahead and sign it at the same plan because, again, a, co a good compromise is everybody left a little bit unhappy. Not a good, a good compromise is not when everybody's not happy about the, the outcome. Um, and I think if we end up having a, a worse plan with a higher contribution, it, everybody's going to be unhappy about it. And, and, I mean, if we had another three months to talk about this before we needed to make a decision, I'd be fine with hammering it out for another meeting or two meetings. Um, but where we are now... I would certainly, for my vote, I would direct Jeff to go ahead and sign the, the document with the plan that we have currently set up. That would be my, my yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll just have to figure out the percentage. Yeah, yeah and that, that, that's yeah, good. I just wanted to make sure. Sure. Really, yeah. I didn't want any surprises. Yeah, no, signing. at this point, we, yeah. you couldn't come up with another plan in four days. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing is... The generator that was installed at the public safety complex, um, there was an interesting billing thing. Um, so we paid for the generator, but we didn't pay in full until it was installed. And unfortunately, we bought the generator last year, we installed it this year, and the funds were not encumbered. The, the remainder of the purchase price, which was 
$1,411.80. So I was wondering if that is something that the select board would be okay with using ARPA funds for. So that's just to pay off the work that's already been done that we're on the hook for. So we don't really have a choice about paying it off. It's just a question of where the money comes from or anything else. Right. And it just, I mean, from my perspective, it seems like a perfect use for ARPA money because it needs to get done. It's a small dollar amount. And... Yeah, I think the other option would be, you know, having to, because it's three departments, having the departments go for reserve transfers. Um, that's what they're saying. Do we need an ARPA request from them to be able to move forward then? If you'd like one, I can give you one, but that's, I mean, it's going to be basically what I told you. I, I just mean, can we, can we vote? to approve ARPA money without a request. So so basically that money is going to go back into free cash next year. Yeah. So we're transferring $1,300 in free cash. It should already be in free cash. Right. Right. Yep. But it's 1000 something? One, yes, $1,411.80. Yeah, it's, it's just a small dollar amount that logistic-wise is worth just doing it so we don't have to try to do a bunch of hoops in order to you move that money. You right? just, you just, and that's, that's, you just yeah. have, you haven't lost it. It's just going right. right. to right. Yeah, just move. Yeah, it, it just it's, it's a we check that box off rather than having to make the department go through a whole bunch of rigmarole in order to make it work. Motion to uh, allow. I am a, I motion that we allow the remainder of the generator to be paid from ARPA. One thousand four hundred eleven. And 80 cents. We want yeah, to say up to, or we already know the actual amount. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. the actual amount. Great. Um, yeah, I second motion, that. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero, but with the understanding that when we have an accountant, that the accountant should be checked. That, that That's an accountant function. Yep. That's purely an accountant function. Anything else, Jeff? Not for me, no. That's enough. And, and <laughs> <laughs> motion to adjourn. Oh, no, no, no executive, executive session. session. Uh, who? Executive oh, session. Oh, that's right. We go, we're going to go to executive session. We're going to talk about. Thank you. Pursuant to Master and Laws, Chapter 30A, Section 21, Paragraph 3, to discuss litigation strategy case of. Shin, Shin Fen Lu versus Town Greenfield District Court case number 2241 CV 000133. If discussing the matter in open session, it will have a detrimental effect on the town's litigating position, and the so chair and the chair so declares. Entertain a motion. I motion we enter executive session. Second. We have a motion made and seconded. Roll call vote. Mr. Waring? Aye. Mr. Tremblay? Aye. Mr. Feigenkevitz? All. And we will uh, resume an executive session downstairs. I have every intention that we will be voting a solution to this. And so we will come back in open session to vote the uh, after our discussion executive session then we will, the only business we will do is we will vote on this and adjournment.